Hi there, beautiful souls. Happy New Year. It's Sadhana, and I'm here today to have a look at two Lenormand decks side by side, which I haven't done before. I'd recently did a walkthrough of the Tannis Lenormand, which is Celia Melsville's Lenormand deck, creator of the Lily White and Lily Black Tarot. And when I was going through the walkthrough, it reminded me of the Dreaming Way Lenormand. And I thought that today we could look at the two decks side by side. So if you're interested in expanding your Lenormand collection, this video might just be for you. On the left, we have the Tannis Lenormand created, uh, illustrated guidebook by Celia Melsville. And on the right, we have the Dreaming Way Lenormand. The artwork is by Quan Sheena, who is the same artist as the Dreaming Way Tarot. The guidebook is by a different person, however, the guidebook for the Dreaming Way Lenormand is by Lynn Araujo. The Tannis Lenormand is available through Celia Melsville's website, and the Dreaming Way Lenormand is available uh, anywhere you can buy US Games decks. So I purchased mine through Amazon. The Tannis Lenormand is a matchbox style box so you slide off the case inside you have the deck in an organza bag and then the guidebook fits inside the box and the dreaming way is a two-part box and it is exactly the size of the guidebook and the cards and so there's no bag with this one And I believe there are no extra cards with the Dreaming Way, but um, I may have taken them out. Usually I leave them underneath the guidebook. Let's have a look at the guidebooks. So first of all, let's have a look at the guidebook for the Dreaming Way Lenormand. The guidebook author has worked on a number of Lenormand projects, including the Gilded Reverie, Under the Roses, the Celtic Lenormand, the Bluebird Lenormand, and the Maybe Lenormand. So before she took on this assignment, she had lots of experience. So you would expect to have some interesting um, comments or maybe some different interpretations, maybe some new keywords that you weren't familiar with in this when we get to the individual cards in the guidebook. So there's this background information and then we have a description for each of the cards. Let's have a look at the writer because it's a card that I will be focusing on there, particularly with um, the Dreaming Way. It's a little more challenging card to read. At the top you have a quotation, dare to live the life you have dreamed for yourself. Go forward and make your dreams come true. Ralph Waldo Emerson. The Rider card brings positive news and change. Though the rider looks back, she trusts her horse to carry her eagerly forward toward her destiny, perhaps to places she has always dreamed of. When this dynamic card appears, it means the rider is ready for anything. Her turned up color suggests she is geared up for whatever challenges come her way. Her horse takes her up and over any obstacles to her success. She may also be the carrier of an important message, information or announcement from afar. A person or event that has been eagerly awaited will soon arrive. Keywords, news, change, movement, messages, discovery, visitor and opportunity. So a little different um, interpretation than the than a traditional deck. For each of the cards, you have a quotation, a description, and then the keywords. Okay, so we'll go through. And then after the cross, reading with Dreamy Waylon Normand. So there's an example for a two card a five card and then there's an example here of a reading and then something called a spiral spread which you may have seen with in tarot readings before so this is a staple bound guidebook it's um, beautiful paper on the outside cover and this is the image for the garden I believe and the Tannis Lenormand guidebook I believe it is stitched and glued it is a larger guidebook than the cards and this was just 
printed in 2017. The Dreaming Way, the year before, 2016. And this guidebook has English on one side, and then if you turn it over, it has French on the other side. We have the welcome, and then a brief background of Lenormand, examples of significators or topic cards. And then at the beginning, there are also a few spreads. So two card, three card, and then she gets into the card interpretations. And this guidebook has a different setup. So at the top, the first thing is the, um, new, whether at the top, she first mentions whether it's a neutral or a negative. So this is a neutral positive card, the writer. Keywords, spiritual um, meanings, body and well-being, time indication, a comment. And then there's a bit of a story here, which I'm going to just read for you. So we read the writer from the other one. Let's have a look at the writer here. Keywords are message, messenger, travel, speed, and news spiritual what carries us makes us move forward body and well-being cardiovascular system time is two days the further away from the significator the longer the message will take to arrive count two days per card between the rider and the significator so very specific with the time indication the clover for example says straight away but short-lived and you can refer to other um, guidebooks, other reference books, to see if this, these timings are the same or similar. So here we have the scythe is instantaneous in September. And let's have a look how that compares with the timing. This chart I made based on Caitlin Matthews' book. So in the Tannis Lenormand, she says the rider is two days per card, two days or two days per card away. And if we look at this chart for Caitlin Matthews book, the rider is soon and speedily. So not as specific. And then she said the clover is straight away, but short lived. And here the clover is now immediately and then let's just glance ahead to the coffin. So the coffin, she Celia Millsville says, final stop midnight and December. And according to Caitlin Matthews, if I look at this chart here, December is the house. And the coffin is a few months. This is a different timing system, so you'll need to decide for yourself which makes more sense or which works better for you. And then referring to the Celtic Lenormand, just out of curiosity, I'm going to look at those three cards as well too, the Rider, the Clover, and the Coffin for timing. Chloe McCracken's book for the Rider, the timing is soon quickly, so that would be the same. There is no mention for timing with the clover, nor is there mention of timing with the coffin. I realize there are many timing systems out there for Lenormand, and it will be important as a reader to choose the one that works for you and the one that seems to make the most sense. As I build my Lenormand collection, I will likely come up with my own timing chart and decide how I'm going to work with that. As I mentioned before, I'm still very new to Lenormand and I'm not offering professional Lenormand readings yet, uh, but I have done a few for friends and family and use the method of counting cards away from the significator as one method, which seems to work really well. Of course, looking at distance from the significator too. The reason I was compelled to make this video was when I opened the Tannis and Norman, it struck me that it did look very similar to the Dreaming Way. You can see the cards are slightly smaller. They are both 
glossy, though the Tannis is a little more glossy than the Dreaming Way. Okay. Um, the cards are numbered at the top, and then they have the playing card association at the bottom on both decks. As it mentioned in the guidebook, the rider and the horse are moving in opposite directions, so this is very non-traditional. And then we have a horse on one and a bicycle on the other. If it does help to have colors for the suits, you'll notice the Tannis is colored for the red cards and black for the black cards. The Dreaming Way, much like the Dreaming Way Tarot, there's an element of fantasy to it as well too. So here we have the boat in a bowl. Can you see why I was compelled to make this video? Very, very similar. Now we have clouds in my coffee, and we don't really have a dark and light clouds on this deck. If you want to use the coffee, the black coffee is the dark. I suppose you could do that. And then that way, both of these decks have dark left, light right. I do like the coffin is straight up and down in the Tannis Lenormand. If you use direction, then that makes it very simple if you're doing above and below and um, if you use direction with the coffin. So that that's really helpful. This uh, coffin as a sardine can is kind of entertaining, kind of fun. Beautiful bouquets in both decks. sides are in the same direction and both of these decks both have a whip and a birch rod or broom birds I really do like these decks I had no idea how how similar they were when I when I ordered the Tannis Lenormand. I do prefer the fox on the left here rather than the fox on the shoulder. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a stool or not. And here we have a bear mask and then a polar bear family. Star. and the stork. If you prefer the stork in movement, then the one on the left will um, maybe appeal to you more. And then the dog, really, really cute in the dreaming way. And then both of these have a kind of a fantastical tower sandcastle on the left and the right one I'm not sure what is coming out of the window that can be left open to your imagination and one has a garden in a wagon and one a garden in a watering can the mountain And this is fun. I quite like both of these for different reasons. The maze and then the crossroads path because of course if you're you know you're looking at the cards below and to the side these paths point to specific cards. But the maze is kind of fun and it's called choices. It has a different name and you'll notice there's no names on the Tannis Lenormand mice
simple heart in both decks. And then the ring. I really like the ring in the tennis. Oops, skipped ahead there. Okay, let's have a look at the book. Both decks have a an open book, which leaves the interpretation more variable. The letter, one sealed, one is open. The man. There is an alternate card in the town of Slenorman, and it is just the skin color, I believe, that is different. So there is a darker skin option for the man and the woman. And then the lily. So one has a white lily, one has a stargazer lily. Sun and moon. Key. Surprisingly simple key for the Dreaming Way. And interesting, exactly the same colorations. And then fish. And then for the anchor, you have one as a tattoo and one as an actual anchor in the water. And then the cross. Both hanging straight up and down, so you can use the four directions for the cross card. So there you have it. Um, both very beautiful decks. The cardstock is excellent quality for both of them. I will show you the backs of the decks. If that is a deal breaker for you. And I'd say they are exactly the same cardstock quality. And just a couple more things before I leave you today. I don't know if you noticed in going through the cards, but there actually is a, there's an error on the Thames Lenormand on the bouquet deck. So it should be the Queen of Spades, not the Queen of Hearts. And I just noticed that going through it this time. I didn't even notice the first time I went through it. So I will contact Celia and just see if she's intending to do a reprint of the number nine card. And lastly, I thought I would share with you the descriptions from the Tannis and Norman guidebook, which are really beautiful. They're written more like poetry. For example, the bouquet. Petals from my bouquet make everything they touch beautiful and nice. And my heart swoons from gratitude during an honest exchange. And for the scythe, something is ending abruptly. It is that suddenness that throws me off guards. You can tell with her uh, with the English translation. Um, sorry, see there. With the mountain, I should exile, cut off links with the world. My heart broken, broken with that key showing me this decision was made too quickly. The anchor itself points that sudden need for the security I miss. She's drawing in different cards to bring awareness to the meaning of different cards. Um, the, I think something is lost in the translation, but um, it's nice to that she's bringing in different cards to uh, expand the awareness, expand the description. For the whips, whatever is at my side, I multiply it again and again, which has to do with the meaning of repetition for the whip. Careful of my broom while lifting the dust, it might bring truth to light or start fights or problems, making the air murky and unbreathable. The birds, talking and chattering, little birds on a tree, 
They get together, play together. They are many to chirp all day. I lend an ear. What do they say? Nothing serious. For them, it's only a game. Let's have a look at one last one. Woman and significator. Customer or partner of the customer. I'm assuming she means the querent. Two cards represent you. Only one will be chosen. The tree means you are healthy and tells of your female ancestors. And if the mountain shows you single, referring to the mountain as being isolation, the stork tells of pregnancy. The bear makes you strong and maternal. Fishes push you to independence. And the moon whispers to honor your intuition and femininity. There you have it. That is my kind of side-by-side -side look at the Tannis Lenormand and the Dreaming Way Lenormand. And I hope that you have enjoyed this comparison. Stay well, my friends. Namaste.